Well, uh, Praveen has always had a problem uh, with me. Um, you know, um, uh, when we came from Polokwane, we went uh, on to lead the Youth League and the ANC. We were being followed by Praveen's established rock unit at SARS. And um, one of the boys who was part of the rock unit, he was young, highly trained, boy from the special task forces in the army and all of that came to join that unit. Mm -hmm. He realizes when we're in Deben that the people he's spying on are the people that he loves and support. And his conscience wouldn't allow him. And when he went back to say, but this is the leadership, we cannot do this and that, um, they said, no. Uh, you must be removed from the post. So he brought me everything that they were doing. I took that fine because I was too young and naive to SARS. I gave it to Pile and uh, Mahashula. Then we had a meeting, me, Pile and Mahashula. We finished. When we finished, they said, no, there is someone who wants to see you. Uh, but it will be a brief thing, don't worry. I said, no, no problem. A white man with big hair walks in, he greets me, takes me into a separate boardroom, and then he says, man, we have a problem. What is the problem? The problem is that your taxes are not compliant. Uh, therefore, uh, we'll, you have to you know, come back and sort out your taxes so that uh, you are on a clean slate and all of that. So I said, no, no problem. Give me that. He gives me that. I go back to the meeting to say to Mahashwila and Pile, no, it's fine, I met this guy. He raises some issues, um, uh, let me leave. They said to me, yeah, it shouldn't be a big issue because we helped President uh, Zuma with his taxes. So even the, this even a small amount will help you. Pile uh, is a comrade, blah, blah. So I left, then I didn't, attend to those things because I knew what they were doing. They were silencing me. They were saying to me, move away from the rogue unit. Mm -hmm. And they, they couldn't silence me. So I fought. And when I fought, they came back to fight me very hard. Um, um, and, then, and then that's when I had problems in the ANC as well. Then got expelled. Then got my properties attached by SARS and all of that. Then they made a mistake of leaving a farm which I was using to produce uh, uh, cabbages. I was farming cabbages and tomato and all of that. And then, boom, one day some city press journalist comes to interview me in my farm. Like, you're now out in the cold, what are you doing? So we interview, take an interview in the farm. And it was working. during the elective conference of the ANC? No, after. It's because he interviewed me on Wednesday, Thursday, and then that Saturday was January 8th of the ANC. So the ANC was so spoiled that their January 8th, that's why it's Saturday, Sunday, well, all, all papers came. must be front page. I became front page of City Press instead of January 8th. And then Praveen on Monday, they went crazy at SARS offices. Why does he still have a farm? and all manner of things. And then that's when they came uh, to take my farm. So, and I had said to them, well, don't expel me, uh, leave me with the membership, but you can suspend me for 10 years from occupying any position, both in the ANC and in government. Because I always knew I'll go into farming. Then they expelled me, I said, guys, I'm done. I'm going to farming. Then I left. Uh, these political things, and then I went into farming. Then Praveen came to fetch me uh, in the farm. That's why we are here today. If there's anyone to be blamed for this, it's Praveen <laughs> and, and Seren. Yeah. Yeah. If anyone is to be blamed for 80,000 people at FNP, yes, it's, it's Praveen. They, they were mobilized by Praveen <laughs> and Seren.